hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vulnerable talks with v i'm your host victoria if this is your first time here make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you never miss when i upload a video so you guys before we go ahead and jump into today's v talk i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support i posted the intro to the series and you guys were so excited so that makes me so happy to be able to share this with you guys like this is going to be great so to start off the v talk series i thought you know what i probably should pull one of you guys's comments or you know if y'all needed advice so one of my lovely v ladies commented on the video on the intro video and she wrote girl a situation that she is going through i'm gonna read it to you guys post it on the screen as well um so you guys can see what i'm reading but I wanted to start with one of you guys' situations or whatever y'all wanted to talk about first because, you know, this is not only for me but for y'all. You know, this is like shout out to y'all for being there for me, okay? I have to start with y'all first. I just have to. Let's go ahead and read my lovely, lovely V ladies comment. I met a new guy that I'm really into, which is rare as F, okay? <laughs> and girl, my bestie since sixth grade, we're 30 now, has been shady about the time me and old boy have been spending, honey. She says it's because she's not used to having to share my time. But the whole time, a best friend has multiple other friends outside of me and several guys she and several guys she dates. I'm kind of a loner. She's damn near my only friend. But I'm not selfish about how she spends her time outside of me. I'm feeling low key guilty like maybe I'm putting her on the back burner. I invite her to hang out with us and she shades the situation saying she doesn't want to be the third wheel. In a sense, I feel like she's trying to make me choose between her and this guy. What do you think the shade is about? And what do you think I should do to keep myself from having to choose between both of them? Cause I choose her regardless, but damn, I want to be happy too. And this isn't no lesbian relationship, <laughs> girl. We're both straight as F, but sis is giving off possessive vibes. She's even being rude to him. Since I met him through her cousin who he used to date and had two toddlers with a mess. Okay, girl, hold on. You didn't drop a bomb on me at the end. We gotta talk about it though. Okay, so right off the bat, just from that last comment you made, that could be why your friend is feeling some type of way because it's like, it's just, it's a lot of like mixing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's her cousin's baby daddy. And then now it's your boyfriend. Like, what did the cousin and him go through? Was he like an F boy? Does he take care of the kids? Does, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure the cousin has told her stuff about the baby daddy and then now you're with him so she can have some like preconceived notions about him and not like him anyway um so that could be a thing i'm just gonna keep it real kind of thing too because if i was in that situation and i already didn't like him i'm just not gonna like him like i don't want you around nobody you know what i'm saying i don't want you with my friend my cousin nobody so that could be why i'm the type of person i like a one-on-one -on -one friendship like i like for me to have a friend and I'm her best friend and we just hang out and do things together um most of the time that's how my friendships work to be honest like I really don't have to ask for it or like feel no type of way because a lot of my friends like we're just friends and they don't really hang out with people but if my friends got other friends I would feel kind of jealous but I know that that is not a good way to be like I feel like you know it's healthy to have more than one friend it's okay to have just one friend, but I definitely feel like if she's used to you guys only doing things together and being together, yes, people don't realize that relationships, friendships are like romantic relationships a lot of the time. Like, the things that you share, the intimacy that you guys share together, like, it could be stronger than a male and female relationship. So, it could be that, you know, she's really not used to you being around people. You know, she's used to you and her doing things, and now you have this whole other person everything's different and people don't like change girl they really don't so that could definitely be a thing but i will say setting healthy boundaries with your friend would be a really good idea like you know telling her look i love you we still gonna hang out we still gonna do what we do you know don't feel no type of way but you want a romantic partner and there's nothing wrong with that and if she's your friend and cares about you she's gonna have to understand that it may be hard for her but 
you're not doing anything wrong and you do not have to pick that is your friend your best friend and this is your boyfriend it's two totally different relationships but i get what you're saying like don't feel guilty i feel like you just need to put your foot down you know what i'm saying like this is my man my man my man my man okay and you're my bestie like it's never gonna change and if you feel like i have to pick we I, I can't do that i know what she's going through though because i feel like i could be a possessive friend like when my friends hang out with other girls i'd be like i want to beat you up i don't like this like what what are y'all doing that we can't do mm -hmm. what are y'all doing that we can't do but i feel like that when my friends have other friends you know what i'm saying i don't i've never had the feeling of like when they have a boyfriend or a significant other i've never had that feeling because i know it's two totally different relationships girl she could like you i'm just saying she could like you that just came to my mind like maybe she do like you maybe she do like you because if some people be on the low liking people you know what i'm saying and covering up with friendship you never know i would definitely sit her down have a conversation and get to the bottom of it you know don't assume nothing um just try to talk to her get to the bottom of it say how are you feeling you know be honest with me let's try to figure out how we can you know accommodate everybody you know what i'm saying but don't put her feelings over yours now i will say if you're the type of person that gets a man and then forgets about your friend that's the issue because i know a lot of women we do that okay we get a man we don't know our friends from a can of paint okay they just talk to us in months because we got a boyfriend and i don't think that that's okay i feel like you know um have your man but have your girls too because at the end of the day like you're gonna need them to lean on if something happens or you know just to have that separation from him but i also feel like when you get a man your man becomes your best friend you don't hang out with nobody else like i'd be in that situation i've been in that situation to where you just shut everybody out and that's not healthy you know what i'm saying you do talk to her tell her like let's have a date you know our date like maybe every monday or wednesday y'all do something or y'all plan things you know keep planning things together to do like but i really feel like having a sit down heart to heart conversation with her letting her just tell you how she feels that way she feels heard and seen um will be a really good idea and then two you guys can come up with a plan set your boundaries and you know move on or whatever and girl i would not have her third willing with you guys if she don't like him she's not gonna have a good time she's gonna have an attitude that is my take on it what do you guys think in the comments chime in help my sis out um it's not the end of the world don't feel bad don't feel guilty these things happen people get jealous you know it's life i do feel like it could be worked out and girl keep in mind keep in mind a lot of the times your girlfriends are gonna be there they're going to be there through thick and thin don't let a man come between y'all you know what i'm saying keep that bond with her very strong if she's a good friend um please keep it strong keep it strong because you're gonna need your girls the girls be around for years to come um but the men they come and go okay but i feel like you do have to set some healthy boundaries and there's nothing wrong with that so do not feel bad okay so yeah girl i hope i answered your question thank you so much for being the first to send me over a question i love you so much you're always so supportive i see your comments all the time girl and i just i love you like i feel like you are my sis in real life okay the way you support me you've been here for so long so i appreciate you so 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 much. i'm looking at my phone and you just replied to my comment she said i can't wait to see what you have to say and hear your advice because i've been holding this frustration in for a minute girl like who can i vent to when the problem is with only my only friend lol oh my god she said best friend watches your content too and we're um sagittarius and aries so we ain't soft we can definitely take some constructive criticism i think we'll benefit from your perspective i've been watching you for years and haven't steered and you haven't steered me wrong yet oh thank you so much girl hey girl so you trying to throw something look i don't want to be in the middle of y'all beef no <laughs> hey friend if you're watching me hey friend <laughs> but no girl so if you're watching me um you just seen the advice that i just gave your bestie so advice for you i would say talk to your friend be honest with your friend okay tell her exactly how you feel don't hold nothing back and i'm sure you won't because 
y'all Sagittarius today. Y'all ain't gonna hold nothing back, okay? Nothing, and I love that. Be honest, brutally honest, but you gotta get it out. Like, cause I feel like if you guys do not get it out, y'all gonna fight. Y'all gonna fight, either y'all gonna be cussing each other out or it's gonna be a physical fight. I mean, I'm just saying because I know how intense things can get. Um, you you need to talk it out talk it out girl so that is the advice i can give to friend okay friend hopefully y'all will talk and i'm gonna hear some good feedback i cannot wait to hear that you guys made up and y'all good okay and let me know in the comment section what you guys think like what type of advice would you guys give these two ladies um you know friendships are they're not easy they're not easy but we see it through you know when they're good friendships you don't want to let them go you don't want them to go in the wrong direction but it's natural to have you know little feuds and disagreements with your friends like it's natural everything doesn't have to be perfect okay but i just think that communication is always going to be key the fact that you can have disagreements and come together and solve it is what brings you guys closer okay i hope that you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe okay and i thank you for tuning in to my first v talk i love y'all talk to y'all soon bye